everybody, welcome back to E Cubed. Today we have an expression that describes a person, somebody you know, a slacker. Oh yes. What kind of a person is a slacker? You know the person. He never works. He's, he's, he's always talking, but he doesn't do anything. You have a group project, a team, and everybody's working hard except that one or maybe two guys, those guys. Those guys are slackers. He's a slacker. He never works hard. Ah, slackers can be frustrating. Now, I'm guessing that all of you are not slackers because you are studying English on your own. Nobody told you to watch my video. You're taking your personal time to learn an English expression. So uh, that tells me that you are not a slacker. That's good. Let's check out a dialogue. Tim makes me mad. He doesn't do much work, does he? He's such a slacker. Why does the boss keep him? That's right. If Tim really is a slacker, the boss should fire him. Ooh, Tim. Tim, wake up. Don't be a slacker. You're being a slacker, Tim. We don't like slackers. Okay, so that is a great word to describe somebody I'm sure you know. Now, if you have a friend who is a slacker, tell them, but be nice. Say, hey, Tim, I'm sorry, but you're being a slacker. You need to work more. You need to be more motivated. You need some more, some more energy in you. Come on, Tim, stop talking and start working. Do it like that. Don't say, Tim, you're a slacker and I hate you. Well, you could say that, yeah. <sighs> Once again, you're not a slacker. I don't think I'm a slacker. I hope not. Sometimes, sometimes, on Sundays and Mondays, a little bit. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Tim makes me mad. He doesn't do much work, does he? He's such a slacker. Why does the boss keep him? Tim makes me mad. He doesn't do much work, does he? He's such a slacker. Why does the boss keep him? Tim makes me mad. He doesn't do much work, does he? He's such a slacker. Why does the boss keep him?